Hello dear children, this video I have brought for you in the topic of reflection of light and this is for 7 only. In this video I will explain reflection of light, loss of reflection and reflection through plane mirror. So first you know that what is light? Light is a form of energy which enables us to see the object around us. Means where there is not light, we cannot see the object. So this is the source through which we can see the objects. So this is the definition of light. Now reflection of light. Light has so many phenomena related to it, but uh, like reflection, refraction, dispersion but in this class you will only read reflection of light. Reflection of light you can understand that when you throw a ball towards the wall that is a rubber ball towards the wall the wall came back to you. Similar, similar situation happen in the reflection of light. Means when light rays fall on any smooth surface, it returns back to the same medium. This is called reflection. So this is the bouncing back action of light rays when it falls on any smooth surface. So see, reflection of light is just similar to a rubber ball which bounces back or returns back when we throw on a wall or on the ground. Simply when we throw a ball on the wall or on the ground it returns back similarly. Light rays return back, returns back or bounces back when falls on any smooth surface. So it is defined as when the light rays falls on the surface or any smooth surface the rays bounces back or return back to the same medium from which they are coming. This is reflection of light. Now take a ball and wall activity. When this is a ground, I have taken diagram. Let this is ground and a ball is falling from up, rubber ball is falling from upward. The ball incident that is collided on the ground and it will return back. Ball came to the ground, fall on the ground and it is return back. Similar case happens with light rays. This is a smooth surface like mirror when light rays are coming falling on the smooth surface and returns back. When light rays coming with an angle it will reflect with an angle. When light rays will come normally it will reflect normally. So as a rubber ball falls on the ground and it returns back similarly light rays falls on the smooth surface and return back. This bouncing back action of light is called reflection of light my dear students. And this is refraction of light rays. Rays are coming from somewhere and it falls on the smooth surface and returns back. So there are some points regarding to reflection of light and these points are incident ray, point of incidence, normal plane of reflection, reflected ray, angle of incidence and angle of reflection. These are the important technical terms you must have to know and I will explain these terms. Now see in the diagram this is a mirror that is I have taken or a smooth surface that is M M dash a plane. O is a point of incidence when light rays were falling and O N is a perpendicular line drawn from this point. So see the technical terms are first incident ray. O A is incident ray the ray which are coming to the uh, plane of reflection to the mirror is called incident ray and OB is reflected ray. OB is reflected ray which is reflecting towards on that on the similar medium. MM dash MM dash is a plane of reflection ON ON 
that is the line which is drawn perpendicular to the point of incidence is called normal O is called point of incidence at this point light ray incident on the plane mirror so this is called point of incidence angle A O N A O N A O N this is called angle of incidence and denoted by I this is the angle which is making the, the incident ray which makes an angle with the normal that angle is called angle of incidence and it is denoted by letter I B O N angle B O N B O N this is called reflection angle of reflection and denoted by letter R the angle uh, which normal which refracted ray makes with normal the angle which refracted ray makes with normal is called refracted ray and it is denoted by the letter small r so these are the important technical terms related to reflection of light AO is the incident ray OB is the refracted ray ON is the normal MM dash is a plane of reflection O is point of incidence angle AON is angle of incidence angle BON is angle of reflection these are the terms I have explained with the help of this diagram now see what is loss of reflection there are two loss of reflection which we will explain we will see there what are the loss of reflection according to the law of reflection first is the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the refracted ray all lie in the same plane the incident ray see in the diagram the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane this is the plane of reflection and all the uh, <coughs> points all the things lie in the same plane that is incident ray reflected ray normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane next one the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal the angle of incidence and angle of reflection is equal that is angle i is equals to angle r here this is angle i angle of incidence the angle which makes the angle incident ray makes with normal that is angle of incidence the angle reflected ray makes with normal that is angle of reflection so this is angle of i angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection and both the angles are equal at any case both the angles are equal at any case that is angle i is always equal to angle r now we will see reflection from the plane mirror so this was the rules of loss of reflection you must have to remember this these are very important laws regarding reflection so now see how a plane mirror so our image this is the diagram this is the topic reflection through a plane mirror I have taken a diagram of plane mirror this is a plane mirror and this is a object like this is an object like maybe whatever this is candle pane book house tree whatever that whatever maybe this is so this is an object how we see image in the plane mirror this is our concern so this is the plane mirror and when light coming from any direction from the object some some lights rays coming normal to the plane mirror some light coming light are coming with an angle to the plane mirror so when light rays incidence normally it retraces its path refracted on the same path and when light rays are coming with an angle it will reflect with an angle like that and when we produce the line produce the imaginary line backward we it appears that the dotted line are intersecting at point what happens light rays actually reflected but when we produce these lines backward we see that the dotted line or the imaginary lines are meeting at a point this is the point of intersection or apparent intersection 
this is called the reflection of the object and image of the object so this is how plane mirror forms the image these are incident rays these are refracted rays when we produce this line backward it appears that the line meets the line meet at a definite point and this is called reflection of that object or image of that object this is how plane mirror works so now what is image image is a point where intersection of light ray take place we also call reflection of object that we see in the mirror that is an image image is what when light ray intersects at any point after reflection either intersect or appears to be intersect means either there is actual intersection or apparent intersection so then image is formed this is the image or we can also call the reflection of the object this is object and this is the reflection of the object this is image now images are of two types that is real image and virtual image real image is what it uh, it is the result of actual intersection when light rays intersect actually you will see in the next part when light ray intersect actually then real image is formed it can be obtained in the screen when light rays intersect virtually means their apparent intersection there is apparent intersection of light ray then virtual image is formed and virtual image cannot be obtained in the screen see in this in this uh, figure a virtual image is forming here intersection of light rays do not take place actually so this is the apparent intersection so this image is a virtual image so this is the explanation of image and types of image image is only our reflection only the reflection of the object and it forms when the light ray intersects the, if there is actual intersection it will be the real image if there is virtual intersection or apparent intersection that will be virtual image this was the so in this part i have explained reflection loss of reflection and reflection through plane mirror then after image so next part i will bring the video in the topic of spherical mirror till till then study honestly and stay tuned